This is COVID and karma part two. Okay. So karma equals cause and effect. In our example, karma is being exposed to the effects of coronavirus. And in our example, most people on the planet will be affected by it one way or the other. Let's make the cause of the karma COVID-19. So we have natural law, karma, and its cause, COVID-19. Karma equals cause and effect. So how do we calculate the effect? The effect the cause has on you will ripen dependent on the thoughts, feelings, and actions you've already experienced. For example, if you bullied kids in junior high, you might get bullied in high school. Unfortunately, karma isn't typically that obvious. Karma is subtle, as higher realms are also more subtle. And as your vibration lowers, you become more dense. So don't be dense, be subtle. If the cause of COVID-19, if the cause is COVID-19, what's the effect on you specifically? Well, you are already ripened into a karma where the coronavirus exposure is global. The effect it has on your reality depends on the thoughts, feelings, and actions you have already experienced. Okay, let me use on that. Right. Um, how do you calculate that? So, how you calculate that? Well, without knowing the whole of natural law, we don't know the expected effects karma will be. So, we don't remember everything we've thought, said, or done, let alone how much is expected to create our future consequences. So if you can communicate with your higher self, spirit guides, angels, etc., they can help you understand your individual karma. There's a process, you know, getting to that point, but, you know, I'm happy to help you with that. Um, you can contact me if you'd like to do a reading on your behalf as well. I'm happy to help with different spiritual things, whatever I can do. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> here might be another question someone might have. <clears throat> How could God let this happen to me? Aw, God is so generous and loving that God gave you free will. <laughs> what a wonderful blessing. <laughs> and God provided all the guidance and protection you could ever need. Unfortunately, most of us in this realm find it difficult to open our hearts and close our minds long enough to expand our vibration wide enough to be able to receive the light and the light love of God. And that's what God is, his light love. <clears throat> to accept the light of knowledge from God. So our 3D realm, human brains don't have the processing capacity or storage capacity to accept that much information. That's like trying to get a calculator to run a rocket ship. I believe in reincarnation and that if your karma is ripe, you can be incarnated in a body that can accept the light of knowledge from God. I believe there are different levels of incarnation depending on your karma and lots of realms to fulfill them, including ones where the whole planet has ascended and the people on it. I believe Gaia ascends, is ascending, and we can receive that light of God more easily. Angels and guardians have to follow strict rules of conduct in their protection of humans. But humans were given a free will, <laughs> even though people well, mostly can't perceive the astral realm yet. We'll get there and where the rules of conduct are given. And I speak of natural law and it's given as a great gift of knowledge. Access to this information being the natural law. And... As long as you raise your vibration, you can access the information, the Akashic Records. So the astral realm is where the great library of Akashic lives. That's my belief anyways. <clears throat> so, and the meek shall inherit the earth. It's only a matter of time as people like me start speaking up and channeling information about the new age. We see now as a planet that things like school, workplace, the stock market, and banks, transportation, even social structures can change. We can pay for health care. We can build energy efficient vehicles and transportation systems. If that's what we prioritize, we don't have to destroy the planet to thrive. 
Focus on what you want to see change in this world. No dream is too big. Everyone can dream a dream, okay? We together can manifest a collective consciousness of positive change in this world. When you vote, that is the energy you're putting into the collective consciousness. Our election system may not be fair, but God and karma are. So vote your conscience. Vote for the person who you most will bring you what you actually want. Not what you think you can have, what you truly desire. God will be watching how everyone votes. And the last election vote you made has an asterisk by it and the Akashic Records, you know, the, the next one's highlighted in bold. So try to vote. If it's available to you, it may not be available to you. I don't know how this, yeah, that's a whole other thing. If you don't physically vote in person, even if you sadly choose not to vote, even if you can, please, it at least tell the universe what you want to see in this world by writing it down, saying it out loud. You can even write a letter, dear God, or dear universe, what I would like for my reality this election is improvement in these 10 areas that mean the most to me. <laughs> dear Santa, whoever, because like I said, God's not judging you. God knows you can't see all the truth yet. God wants you to see the truth. God doesn't judge. You know what I'm saying? God doesn't judge. So, okay, another question. How can we all be abundant and get more money if there's only a set amount of money in the monetary debt system? Money is energy. And the universe is infinite, uh, infinitely abundant in energy as a gift from God. Money has the value we give it. The debt system is draconian. It's outdated. It only works for the benefit of a few, okay? God is infinitely abundant. If man was created in God's image, wouldn't God want people to be infinitely abundant? They can be. There is enough on the planet for everyone, even though we are severely overpopulated. There is more than enough food wasted to feed the hungry. Do you think God wants any of his creation to starve? No. God doesn't view us separate from him or herself. Those who situated themselves in power among humanity think they can take from the earth and take from God and yet restrict, what's, restrict what they give to the rest of God's people. With great power comes great responsibility. It is the responsibility of the strong to take care of the weak. All people are God's people, even when the devil guides them away. If God says all people are equal, why can't we be? Why don't we even have a criminal rehabilitation system? It's a punishment system, not a balanced system of positive and negative consequences. Equality is natural law, but we are in a state of energetic polarization and it's time to come into balance. Time to balance the masculine and the feminine energies within ourselves. And also the good and the bad, the dark and the light. One cannot exist without the other. It has to come together. Without the dark, we do not know the light exists. So you have the contrast that lets us see the good and the bad potential within ourselves. Because we're all one. But it's time to bring the polar energies together for a great convergence. Most decisions about how our society does or does not take care of the planet and its people have been decided by a small few rather than a majority vote. Your opinion that your city should have a recycling program won't change the fact that your city may not be required to have one by law. And now to recycle, you have to drive all your garbage to the nearest recycling center, which may be a county way. On top of the fact that most people are trying to self-quarantine, this recycling karma is turning turn out to be one hell of a tomato. On top of all the other tomatoes, well, don't worry, the universe sees intention. Yes, drive to a recycling center if you can. No, don't feel guilty about a policy you didn't put in place and can't change. If the city did have a vote on whether to add a recycling program, you should try to put your energy in the group or collective energy towards making that happen. If you have to work that day, of the vote and then you have your kids right afterwards and you can't get a babysitter and you can't take the kids with you because of the virus and so on but let's see how fast good intentions can become a tomato 
you can counter this karma with other positive actions. And keep in mind, intentions are seen. The universe of karma knows you have good intentions and wants to do the right thing. If you do. <laughs> if you don't, that's, then they know that too. But society you were born into is not supporting those good intentions. Okay. Because I know, please, I know it's hard to remember that we're all one. And when we see darkness in the world, try to forgive them and try to forgive yourself for participating in society and in the dark ways. Like, I gave up using credit cards as my stand against the bank's price gouging. And, but when I, and other things, but when I wanted to take a trip, a credit card was required to book the flight. A credit card was required to book the car rental. A credit card was required to reserve the hotel. A credit card was even required to buy soda on the flight. Okay. It was ask for tap water or buy something with a credit card. Okay. Wow. Credit card lobbyists must've been working overtime. I mean, I realized that no matter how many corporations I boycotted, they didn't change their behavior. I realized, but the energy you put into the universe changes the energies in the planet. Even your tiny little energy, it goes to collective energy. But I realized I'm alive here on this earth at this time. And I came here to participate in life, in reality, in society, for better or worse. I'm an American earthling. We want to try to work through fear, guilt, and hate, if you can manage it. Negative emotions, if we can manage it. <laughs> Negative emotions only hurt ourselves, and, it's, and it lowers your vibration, and it hurts your immune system, which we really need to have healthy right now. So be positive. Just remember, the systems we used to rely on are broken. But they didn't just suddenly break. They've been crumbling and in some cases systematically dismantled. We're coming into an intense time of truth. Can you handle the truth? The truth is, it's time for change. Okay, Mother Earth has already started her transition. And I believe the first step in her ascension will cause more truth on the planet. So get ready for truth. I support Mother Earth in her process. She requests that we send her... Send to her crystal core our dark energies for her to transmute for us. Thank you, Mother Gaia. She also requests that we send her love and light. Do this the way that works best for you. Stress, stress harshes your body and can lower your immune system. So try to stay positive and that will help your immune system so that it can, get, it can better fight off illness. Be positive in addition to taking the proper precautions as recommended by medical professionals for virus mitigation. My point is, what you believe about why so much is happening in the world right now, please know that your best is good enough. Okay? Your best is good enough, okay? <sighs> God in the universal matrix mechanism, register your intentions and all the complications. You may or may not feel separate from God, but you are not separate from God. We are all one with God. We are all one. The intelligent universe is created by God and God expresses itself through you. You're an expression of God. God painted you the artful masterpiece that you are and not just to banish you and shame you and throw you in the garbage. No. The great artist Bob Ross once said, we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. And those happy little accidents are experiences that help you learn and grow mentally, emotionally, physically, and especially spiritually. God loves expressing itself through you. It's one of a kind, priceless work of art. Love yourself by trying to see yourself through God's eyes in this way. Or the way that works better for you. If you don't believe in God, that's okay. God respects your beliefs. Everyone has their own beliefs that help them grow and learn in this life, in this timeline, in, the, in your personal, individual experiences you go through. God is not judgmental. God loves you. God adores the vast range of experiences and learning lessons it expresses through you. And remember, perseverance builds character. Does that help? No, that's right. So, God wants to say to you right now, thank you for being alive. 
Thank you for being alive here right now. If you want more detailed information about intuitive op opinions that are, I find interesting what's going on in the world right now and especially with COVID-19, I'd like to recommend a couple of videos, additional videos that you can check out. One is Gigi Young and her perspective and the other is Brad Johnson with New Earth Teachings on his perspective. And I'll provide those links in the description um, along with a clip from The Good Place about the tomato. So. Um, please feel free to ask questions in the comments. Please share this if you would like to. And if you resonate with this content, like and subscribe. I'll get you more. Okay? Stay positive. Namaste.